I'm Desi, and I've worked in a makerspace basically my entire college career. I'm going to be showing you how I make a Pokeball fidget spinner. I just ran out and got the last bit. Amazon still delivers my hex nuts to me, and we'll just get right into it. So for this project, you're going to need to 3D print a lot of objects. This Pokeball fidget spinner was found on Thingiverse, designed by Daniel Hosvace, and the link will be in the description below. And as you can see from here, this is actually a time lapse of the top part of the Pokeball, the red part, and that's really exciting. So after you have all your things 3D printed out here, you also can see in this frame that you're going to need hex nuts, super glue, and skateboard bearings. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean up all your 3D prints by removing the rafts and also removing any stringies that you have from it, making sure that the print looks as clean as possible. I'm going to make sure that I do it to all these pieces that I have and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that all of our pieces have been, have been like, made all nice and pretty uh i'm going i think i'm going to now attempt to put the hex nuts in and some hex nuts comes in this really cool packaging actually We need to do a different method. Turned out great. Look at that. Look at how flush down it is. And this model does have a little stop so it won't go all the way through, which is really nice. So you can see the difference between the hammered and the not hammered. Time for a lunchtime break. No, this is not wine. It's cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is very good for you. I almost was considering wine though at the rate I'm figuring out things. But I have to study for a midterm that's tomorrow. And, you know? Hmm. Okay. I am doing this project instead of studying, by the way. So, finish my lunch and continue on. I also have class soon though. So, who knows how much later it'll be. <laughs> Hello. Um, as obvious, it's a new day. Wearing different clothes. I've made some serious progress on these. Um, I don't know if I've updated you on this. But the little, little buttons I super glued in and I painted all of these, which turned out fantastic. They, it was a hot mess train to get these. At first, it um, went really bad, like really, really bad. Which I think is a really important point to point out that when you're making something, it's gonna go bad. <laughs> like, it's just gonna happen. But you have to keep going and like, just try and just push through it. But what I did was, it's 3D printed, which is PLA plastic. Believe it or not, works wonders with nail polish. Um, I don't know if a lot of other makers or people know this, but nail polish is like super cool in using with stuff. I also have gel nail polish, which um, is cured by UV light. So I have like a little UV lamp here. So I was able to 
paint these and I think they look really cool. I put a nail polish top coat on it and it's super shiny. Um, I also have painted... Ah! We're dropping it. Spent so long on it and we're dropping it. <laughs> a master ball, which is super cool, super cool. And I also have painted the great ball, which is also super cool. So now we're gonna get into finally assembling these things and be done. All right, so we have everything we need to put all these together. We're gonna first start by putting these buttons in. I make no guarantees that this is gonna work well, but we're gonna try. Should I try to line up some buttons? Oh well. Let's see how this. Oh, we have fidget spinning. We had some technical difficulties, but I finally got them both on, both sides. They work pretty great. The trick with these ones is you can't actually push it down all the way because if you do, it won't spin as freely. But now we are going to move on to the fun, exciting, really nerve-wracking part of this project, which is finally attaching the Pokeballs permanently with some super glue. So... Yeah, let's get into it. So here you can see me struggling trying to get them to fit together. And this happens a lot with files that you do find online. And after some struggling, I determined the best option was to sand down um, part of it so it's able to fit properly. Have some sandpaper here. A lot of people might not have access to everything that I have access to, um, which is why this isn't necessarily a tutorial, but more of a, we're making things, I guess. <laughs> all right, so now all of it has been sanded. Nope. So, this edge right here has been sanded down a little bit more than this edge. And now we're ready to glue everything together. Ooh, this is the scary part because once you do this, it is on. So here you can see that I'm applying a liberal coat of Gorilla Super Glue here. And I'm going to do that to all the pieces. And then we're done. I have both of the fidget spinners right here. This one has the normal Pokeball, the Great Ball, and the Master Ball. And this one, oh, this one has all the normal Pokeballs. Um, I don't know, they're, they're really cool. I would recommend making these if you have access to a 3D printer and if you don't have access to all these different colors that I printed in, you can paint them. You, however, if you're going to paint them, I would recommend sanding them to get them completely smooth because there is still layer lines that you can see and if you're going to paint them, whether it be acrylic paint, spray paint, any of those, I would recommend sanding before you do that. Um, but if you're not, I didn't sand them. I could have sanded it and it could have made it look even way cooler. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check out for more videos and see you later. Videos like these are brought to you by UC San Diego and have been made possible from support by makers like you. Thank you.